All right, we're back with another video. Um, it's been a little bit since I've made a video because last week we had an off weekend at Persimmon Ridge that Joseph and I didn't get into, unfortunately. But now we're here at Jonesboro um, getting ready for the Jonesboro Open. Not only yeah, quick. are we at the beautiful disc side of heaven course, but I've seen all your comments. Oh, where's Joey Buckets? Let's see some more Joey Buckets. Well, we got Mr. I'm here. We got Mr. Joey Buckets. Okay. Um, took a lot of hard convincing, but he said, "You know what? I'll I'll play with you." So let's go. All right, new hole one. 520 foot par three. Out of bounds, short. You don't want to end up in that. Oh, if I throw this straight, I'll be happy. What? Unless you're a caveman, use your hands. Oh my gosh, Braden. Jeez. All right. That thing was humming. Not bad. I didn't throw it sideways. That was really good. Miss trees. Eh, it's all right. All right, so hole one is in this little gap, or the, the basket of hole one. You have this like 100 foot wide out of bounds, which really I don't think comes into play unless it's like ripping, ripping headwind. But uh, you probably recognize this hole. I don't know what hole number it was, but it was the one where Casey threw like over the I think the it top. was 14. 14, okay. Okay. 14. Now it's hole number one. Pretty cool hole starting hole. No good. Mm. No follow through. No nothing. Take two. Take two. Take three. Jeez. Third time's the charm. Let's go. That one's yours, yeah. L this one is? Yeah. All right, a little 20 is it? for a start the day. Kind of obstructed, but I would take this every time. In the circle is, is good on this hole. Oh, a clanker danker. For the first one is what counts. All right, new hole two, old hole 15, but they've extended the basket straighter. 360, it probably plays 400 ish. Oh, yeah. I can turn it more. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm trying to just throw Firebird just a little bit right. Pretty straight. See if I can do that. That was a lot of bit right, but it was pretty straight. That's no bueno. Okay, so the only thing you really want to avoid on this hole is this clump of crap. And I managed to put it in this clump of crap, so that tells me I should probably just play like out here to the left. Oh. Oh, they call them Joey Buckets for a reason. Screw Make it. Put. I agree. Yeah, they're still on the tee back there. Oh. That would have been pretty cool. Oh, yeah. All right, hole three, 324 feet. Uh, if you have a sidearm, most people are probably going to throw that. The only danger here is really being short, so aiming for, like, 20 feet long is probably a good goal. Parking it can get. Where'd you play? Be uh, dangerous. Bud Hill. Bud Hill, where's that? Memphis. Oh, yeah. Solid. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I think it did. Now that is very nice. So to uh, kind of fill you guys in on my life recently, two weeks ago I played in Texas States and finally had a good performance on the Pro Tour. Birdie Came in candy. seventh. Hmm? Um, Birdie candy. 
and I qualified for USDGC, qualified for the European Open, um, and uh, going good. I got my think. first top 10 I mean, on the Disc Golf Pro Tour, all which the is work, pretty much. super exciting and encouraging, and I'm looking forward to keeping that momentum I mean, going, but uh, now I kind of have a big decision to make it. as to whether or not I'm going to go yeah. overseas. I'd really like to, because the courses over there look pretty awesome, but uh, got a lot of figuring out to do. What'd you say? You don't want to be short right. Kind of sucks. That was pretty good. Dang. <laughs> Branches. You're kind of like oddly good at that. All right, this right here was my strong I don't know if you suit. This disc. Oh, yeah. In Texas. I put it in for Texas like States just because there were a lot of like 300 foot wooded holes that I wanted it for. Yeah. And it's just stayed in, I guess. I don't really throw it much, but. Let's go. The stepper is back. This is hole four, par four, 750. You just kind of hit this gap, fade a little bit left, and then you have another tricky little upshot. Yeah, noise like that. Noise. All right, I'm gonna try and do that. Let's see if I. Can... Nice. Thanks. <clears throat> so let me preface this video is essentially going to be as many holes as we can get in before we get monsooned on. Um, so if we somehow we just cut. We're like, oh, well, we got monsoon done. Yeah. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Sounded pretty good. Should be decent. Yeah. All right. Threw a pretty good drive. Ideally, I have the Nord in. Sweet. If you haven't already heard about the Nord, the Nord is Castaplast's newest disc, semi overstable mid range, comes out April 18th. I think it's one of the best discs that we have in the lineup. Head on over to castaplast.com or your favorite local retailer and pick them up April 18th. It's Don't like an advertisement. Because they're sick. Oh, oh, me and, me and Buckets, we got, got a little battle putt. We got a little battle putt action going on here. Call it 30. Call it 30. Call it 30. <laughs> oh, there's a reason they call them buckets, folks. Come on. I don't know how many times I got to say it, but there's a reason. These are what I got to work on, right? Just inside the circle. Nice. <sighs> Booyah. Hole number five, 360 feet, um, straight for 90% of the way, and then it, the basket ends a little bit to the right. You see a lot of forehands. I'm gonna try just a straight backhand because uh, every time I throw the sidearm on this hole, I just throw it poorly. Try and throw it straight at the big tree, the Cag Z. <sighs> Dang it. Freaking DX Leopard. What did you say? You need a DX Leopard? Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is like the fifth time that I've ended up over here. There is no way of making a putt from here. I mean, what, what do you do from here? Oh, I got it. All right, heads up, I'm trying to make it. I don't think I made it. What hole is this? Hole six, par four. You just throw a little hyzer back in and then a little hyzer forehand. Yeah. No.
Nice. Very good. <clears throat> Probably. K1 Go Yarn. <laughs> Guys, this is a PG channel. PG 13, bro. <laughs> Maybe throw it flat. Yeah, that's fine. Through a pretty solid drive here. Oh, K3. K3 yarn. I'm glad my tripod didn't break after that <laughs> travesty. Hole seven, 655 feet. You just throw it straight. You kind of want to end up left. You throw it over the out of bounds. Then you throw a little chip into the green and you get your birdie. Pretty good. Decent. Solid. Hmm. I don't even want to look at it. It hurts my eyes, dude. <laughs> it's like the solar eclipse. Oh my gosh, dude. It freaking <laughs> hurt my eyes. Man, Joey, you're happy. Full of joy, man. What, why is that? <laughs> is that what? Uh, never. Just, just, just throw your upshot, man. Okay, man. Okay. Hey, tell Just. me how good this is, sorry. Okay, never mind. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Walks away. All right, a little left. Okay. Left. Oh my goodness. Like 20 feet? Yeah. Okay. All right, so kind of like right here. Right at Drew. It's that left. so far away. That's ripped and left. Oh, really? Very good, very nice, man. Costy, plasty. Hole eight. Is it recording? Hole eight, par three. 350. Probably plays a bit further. There's kind of two plays. There's a hyzer or there's a straight left gap. I'm going to try the hyzer right now. And there's a tree stand there that's way ahead of that one. That's parked. All right, I'm going up the left. That's booty cheeks. I mean, I wouldn't call it that. Mine was kind of booty cheeks. Might have done my second one. Oh, what a catch. <sighs> yes. I threw it. Hole number nine. At Texas 350. States. Downhill. To the right, it was there's good. hazard that's straight. Don't go in that. Wait, yeah, yeah, the yellow stakes. The yellow stakes. Oh. I'm throwing the backhand, some kind of, you know, flippy, let her ride, and just park it. I like. I like very much. I mean, I, I think that's pretty good. Very much I like. Very much so I do like. No, no, no. <laughs> Not part. Is that the stick? Yeah. Go in. Oh, yeah. You freaking. Joseph, say something funny. Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Dude, what do you want from me, man? I don't know. <laughs> that face was. That was a good face. Oh, my soul. Oh, this soul. Oh, my. All right. We're here with our drive inside the circle. Pretty happy with that. Now, you just gotta make it. That's what it's all about. Oh, a bit right, but good enough. Just absolute clank job there. That's a heartbreaker. Now that one you're not looking for in tournament. Oh, very good. Very good, buddy. Oh, guys, that is it. Uh, front nine of the disc side of heaven. 
getting ready for the Jonesboro Open. Um, is that what it's called? Yeah. I don't know. But thanks for watching. If you made it this far, uh, say hey to us in the comments. Um, be on the lookout for our Tour Series discs. They're coming out sometime soon. I couldn't tell you when, but uh, when I get that information, I'll let you know. See you later.